Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the OVW Wrestling Television Podcast. Uh, I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. And today, today, guys, we're going to be talking about uh, you know it's it's been a little while since we've done the OVW podcast. Been been a little bit busy. Yeah. Uh, but guys, we are back with the OVW TV podcast. Um, we're going to be talking about this episode, which is. September 18th of 1999. This is episode 11. Um, now, once again, we're going uh, we're going back from when Jim Cornette took it over. Yes. The the, the booking for OVW. Yeah. Yeah, we so, are. Uh, Tommy, of course, we get the great intro. White White well, Wedding. Of course, Billy Idol. <laughs> Billy Idol. White Wedding. White Wedding. You don't um, see fucking. Uh, we don't see fucking Ron, Fat Ronald McDonald singing it. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. One, two, jelly roll. <laughs> um, then we get the then we get the rundown at the desk with Jim Cornette and yes. Dean Hill. The rundown of and the show. You see Cornette with the sprite like always. <laughs> yeah, he has a sprite sitting there, of course. Oh, of course, he's got a fucking sprite. Um, <clears throat> but Tommy, let's go ahead and go to our first match right our here. Our first match on OVW TV is. From the good old USA, <laughs> the Eagle, not the American Eagle. Yeah, not the American he's Eagle. He's just the fucking Eagle. Yeah, he's he's not he's not Eagle Twenties either. <laughs> he's, he's not Eagle Twenties either. No, he's just the Eagle. The as Eagle. he gets set to take on the OVW heavyweight champion from Bowling Services, from Bowling Services, the Iron Man Rob Conway, and of course with by his side Kenny the King Bowling, yep, and Mister Black, Mister Black, head of security. Yeah, he don't secure much. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, the the former cousin Otter. That's right, cousin Otter. <coughs> I don't know where Jebediah is. Jebediah is still not here yet. Yeah, yeah, Je Je Jebediah ain't here for for some reason. But uh, Tommy, uh, what you think about the match though? It was overall? a typical TV match. Typical TV match. Now, once again, a lot of these are going to be typical TV matches. You know, that's yeah, just the way all, it is. All this match was was to get Rob Conway over and the, and the Iron Fist over. That's right, because uh, uh, right now he is donning a glove on yes. his right hand. Like he's and, Michael uh, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he's Michael Jackson. Not a sparkly one, but just one. No, of those, just the old biker one there. Yeah, it's like a red one, too. Yeah. Um, Tommy, a uh, big power slam from big Rob Conway. Big <laughs> power slam by the Iron Man, Rob Conway. He goes up to the second rope. He dives down, hits the fist drop with the red glove. <laughs> One, two, three, and that sells the fate of the Eagle. The Eagle. So the Eagle does the J-O-B to the Iron Man, Rob Conway. And, uh, and then after that, Rob Conway goes, I ain't done with the old Eagle yet. A couple kicks to the head. A couple kicks to the head. Picks him up, torture rack, and he goes, you give it away? You give it up, Ed Jerome? <laughs> Jerome. We'll get into that later on in, in, in OVW yeah. history. And, and the Eagle goes, yeah, sure I do, because I'm a jobber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But well, Tommy, we're going to see another jobber here in a minute. But Tommy, as he has the eagle up for yeah. the torture rack, somebody else comes up, comes yeah. up for the save. I want to get away. <laughs> he wants to fly away. Yep. And that's Rico here comes Costa Rico to make the save, and Rob Conway goes, "Well, I think it's, I think the eagle had enough punishment here." Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll take out of here. I'll take a powder there, Rico. Uh, Rico Constantino, as Rico they say. Constantino. Then Tommy, we get a little ad break here, and Tommy, they are talking about, and they hype, and they are hyping up WWF SmackDown coming to Freedom Hall yes. on October. And also, I 19th. got that commercial. You yes. can put, it, you go see it on social media. You yes, can see it on Instagram. Uh, Tommy will put that commercial up on social media. That's stuff we used to see when we watched when we used to watch OVW. Uh, it is a uh, pretty much a commercial talk about WWF uh, SmackDown coming to Freedom Hall October nineteenth. Tommy, 40, 40 WWF superstars, yep. including Stone Cold, Kane. Rock, Kane, Kurt Big Angle. Show. <laughs> no, not Kurt Angle. Big Show. Big Show. Val uh, Venus. Val Venus, yeah. Val Venus. The penis. Who gives a fuck about Val, anyway? <sighs> Smoking it up. Uh, Tommy, uh, we come back from the break, and Tommy, they are, they are going to go to some footage from... Uh, the Louisville Gardens uh, show, which was a Falls Count Anywhere match between Trailer Park Trash and Flash Flanagan. Yeah. 
uh, or as known just now as Flash. Um, and Tommy, they beat the hell out of each other at the Louisville Gardens. Yeah, they did. They beat the shit out of each other. And don't forget, they were on the empty riders, but you see fans sitting <laughs> over there. Well, Tommy, not only that, but Tommy, we see uh, we see Flash go through uh, some wood that was on the That's outside. Right. You see the... Trailer Park trash get backdrop on a truck hood. Yeah, on a truck hood. There was in the middle of the ring. Um, we see uh, uh, fl Flash is on the outside. On the concrete, by the way, no paddings and out trailer there. Trailer Park trash goes up, go for the leg drop, as he likes to call the trailer jack. Hook him up and haul him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and flash moves and trash goes right through the table on to, first onto the concrete and then and then trash gets in the ring and flash goes get the fuck up drunk <laughs> and hits him in the head with the goddamn garbage can one two three and flash beats trash flash beats trash and uh uh tommy um and then they get into a big spiel yeah, um, outside the like, Louisville Gardens. They're climbing up the damn rafters. You see uh, empty seats. You see fans. Um, and then they go outside, fight outside the Louisville Gardens. They're fighting towards the corridor doors. Go out to the outside. They're out. The, uh, they're out by the uh, where the trucks pull in and pull out uh, the um, you know the outside of the building. Um, and Tommy. Eventually, uh, Flash runs away yeah. down the damn street. Down you the see street. it too, uh, down the street, and and, uh, and Trailer Park Trash is in hot pursuit. That's right. Where you going, Flanagan? <laughs> yeah, where you going? Come huh? on, big man. <laughs> um, but definitely enjoyed that. But Tommy, we actually come back to um, they're gonna have uh, Trash in the ring, and uh, he's gonna be cutting a promo. Yeah. And guys, we actually have the promo for you. Let's go ahead and uh, play that now for you. Yeah, that's right. Flash, I know you're in the back, and I know you're watching that camera, so I want you to do something real fast. I want you to turn that volume up real loud because I want you to hear what I have to say. First thing is, Flash, yeah, you beat me at the Louisville Gardens. Yeah, you pinned me one, two, three. But, Flash, you didn't do it because you're a better wrestler than me. You didn't do it because you're a better man than me. You did it because when I come off that top rope, all my plans were was to squash your head like a grape and put you out for good. But instead, you got lucky and moved out of the way. So what happened? I went crushing through the table down to the floor and about killed myself. That's the only way you could beat me. But then even after that, as the fight was going on, you run. You run up the stairs. You run down the stairs. You run to the back of the local gardens. You run to the alley of the local gardens. You run down the street. Flash, I ended up chasing you all the way to 7th Street in Louisville, Kentucky. And you were still running after that. Well, I think we solved that little situation, Dean. This Tuesday night at the St. Teresa Gymnasium, we got ourselves a lumberjack match. And you know what that means, Flash. It means all the OVW guys will be around the ring, making sure no one could get out and no one else could get in. But you better remember something, Flash. All these guys that's going to be around the ring are guys that you've pissed off here lately. And they're not going to let you get away. They're not going to let you run from me. Every time you make an exit out that ring, they're going to give you a quick entrance right back into the ring, right back to me. That's this coming Tuesday night St. Trees, a lumberjack match. Great idea. Yeah. Flash, we all know that you're a coward. This Tuesday night, we're going to show you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Flash is at ringside. Flash is in the ring. Some of the My officials. Yeah, Briscoe, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Easy, guys. See if I can... Hold on. Hold on. I am not a coward. Let me get that straight. And I never ran from you. I want this match probably more than you do. No, I'll tell you what. I let you live. I had you beat. You couldn't have went anywhere. But I saved some of you. And some of them lumberjacks out there, some of them don't like you either. So I'm going to tell you what. You can gather all your friends you want around that ring. So I'm going to guarantee you one thing. Each and every one of them you bring are going to be carrying you back. There we go. A uh, promo from uh, Trailer Park Trash and Flash uh, comes out uh, to give his two yeah. cents. Tommy, we already have it set at St. Teresa's Gym. That <laughs> which Tuesday, is still around, by the way. Which is still around, by the way. St. Teresa's Gym, you know, uh, you're going to see a lumberjack match between everywhere because his house is fucking mobile. Trailer Park Trash and Flash. Uh, you know, uh, 
great gimmick match, the the uh, the lumberjack match, and uh, uh, wish we could have went to uh, the uh, uh, the Saint Teresa's gym that Tuesday uh, right. to see that. But of course, uh, you know, we never get to go to those uh, Louisville shows, unfortunately. But Tommy, we actually, wish we <laughs> I wish we could have as well. Um, well, guys, you gotta realize this is back in 1999, and uh, I was I just turned nine. And Tommy was ten years old, yeah. so we didn't really get to go uh, uh, go out to uh, watch these shows. Now we did go to a lot of the house shows that came to our town. Yeah. Uh, or uh, there's another town from us that's about 10, 15 minutes to get there. We usually went to those shows too, but we never really went to the Louisville shows because yeah. Louisville's about an hour and a half away from us. Um, so we never really got to go to those. But Tommy, we actually get uh, uh, we go back to a commercial break, um, and Tommy, they actually have a commercial for yes, the WWF Attitude Bears. Yeah, which also will be on so on my social media, and you can check out. Do you, you can, guys remember the? Do you all remember Attitude the uh, the WWF Attitude Bears? There's Val Venus, Sable. Big uh, Red Machine Kane. Yeah. Red Machine Kane. Yeah, the Red Machine Kane. The Undertaker. Stone Cold twice. Yeah, two Stone two Colds. Yeah, the two, Rock. Two Stone Colds, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I remember these bears. Yeah, I remember these Attitude Bears, too. Uh, I, I I think me and you had a couple of the Attitude yeah. bear, uh, Era Bears. Now, not these. We actually had the one. I think one was Mick Foley. Yeah. In the second batch. Yeah. I think that's the one we used to have. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah, n nice commercial for the WWF Attitude Bears. If you guys want to check that out, Tommy actually has it on, on his Instagram. Yeah, I do. Um, but with that being said, we actually have a promo from Rico Constantino. Rico Constantino! And we should say, this is actually him at the desk with Cornette yes. and Dean Hill. So, uh, let's, let's see, what, see what Rico has to say on the subject. <laughs> on the subject. I know that you've been concerned about the situation with, with Conway trying to get a championship match, but first you have to defeat Bull Buchanan this coming Tuesday night at St. Teresa's. What are your thoughts on that situation? Well, Boland Services said I can't have a kind of match with Conway unless I beat Bull, uh, Bull Buchanan this Tuesday. You know, and Bull Buchanan is supposed to be some kind of Superman. Well, let me tell you, to me, he's just another challenge that I have to meet. And you want to match strength for strength, Bull? Let me tell you this. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh, he's the full <laughs> Well, fine. Well, fine, Bull. I'm ready. Tuesday night. Nice little promo from Rico nice there. Nice little promo by Rico. He ripped up a phone book in half. Yes. To show how strength Rico is. And, uh, you know, back and Happy the... New Year from Dean Hill. <laughs> and a Happy New Year from Dean Hill. Um, but, uh, you guys got to realize Rico was on the power team, uh, power lifter, American yeah, gladiator yeah, champion. Yeah, he was from American gladiator. Hey, he won American gladiator. Yeah. Um, he beat some other schmuck. Yeah, he did. He beat and the schmuck. He actually ripped the telephone book in half yeah. in front of Cornette and, uh, impressive. and Dean Hill. Uh, very impressive to see, uh, the, 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 uh, the and by the way. The of Rico Constantino. And we should say here in 2024. There's no such thing as the phone book anymore. Yeah, there ain't no phone book anymore. Uh, Even you gotta, though we see, you see them fucking throwing them out there for yeah. some reason. No, nobody ever uses them. Yeah. No, um, why, why do you need a phone book now when you got internet? When you got the phone and the internet, you don't really need anything else. So, yeah. Um, but, phone books are obsolete nowadays. Yeah, it's obsolete nowadays. But uh, you got to realize, you know, fucking, you know, fuck a phone book should be like this yeah. fucking thick. They're you thick. Know? They're very thick uh, phone books. And he, he just ripped it in half. Um, Tommy. Then we go to the ring, and we got a tag team match. Yes. As Kid Quick. Kid Quick. Boy, Kid <laughs> Quick. What a tough athlete Kid Quick is. Oh, absolutely. Boy, he, he looked like he came from fucking Australia or where we're fucking from. Or <laughs> I don't Kid know Quicker. He, he, his gear is the fucking fish hat. It looked like a goddamn fish hat. Like one of them grand, fucking grandpa fish hats. It did. It did look like yeah, a fuck, he's head. wearing a fucking red tank top and he's wearing them fucking cargo shorts. Yeah, I should say his partner is the same bay, but this guy actually done something in his career. Yeah, it'll be Kid Quick, who's a J Bro. Yep, 
and Randy Royal. Randy Royal. Uh, I know Randy Royal. He actually worked his ass off to get where he was. Did he win the championship later on? Yeah, he won the OVW championship in later years, yep. Uh, and when we mean later years, we mean like uh, uh, maybe 2016, 17 yeah. maybe is when I remember him as OVW champion. But um, this is a young Randy Royal. Yes, yeah, so it's Kid Quick and Randy Royal. Versus the OVW Southern Tag Team Champions of the Suicide Blondes of Jason Lee and the Hustler Rip Rogers. Seymour, Indiana native. Yes, absolutely. Or should we say Seymour, Indiana legend? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Seymour, Indiana zone. Um, Tommy, and, and by the way, if you guys want to check out uh, the Hustlers uh, podcast of Rip Rogers, I, I, I highly suggest you guys yeah. check out that podcast uh, with him and Von Lilas. Yeah, they do a great um, job over there. They do a great job over there. A big shout out to uh, Rip Rogers podcast. Um, and of course, uh, you know, Rip Rogers is great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he looked at the referee, and he had him in a headlock. He had, I think, Kid Quick in yeah. a headlock. And he said, and he hey, goes, hey, he goes, hey, he's pulling my, hair. pulling my hair here. And the ref goes, oh, let me take a look here. And, and Rip Rogers just goes, ugh, the throat. <laughs> yeah. ugh. As, as, as the ref is looking at the back of his head like, uh, hey, hey, he wouldn't pull the hair. Um, and then uh, Jason Lee does a big slam to Kid Quick. And the big Lee salt on the, the top. The big Lee salt by Jason Lee. One, two, three by the hustler knocks off Randy Royal. <laughs> Randy Royal just looks on the side. We lost. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So your winners, the Suicide Blondes of the hustler Rip Rogers and the most handsome man in wrestling, Jason Lee. And then, Tommy, we go to a... um. An interview, yeah, um, in the parking lot of the in, OVW in, show. Yeah, in the parking lot of the Davis Arena. I'll go yeah. ahead and say it right here, uh, right now. And uh, it is between uh, Treasure and uh, Vito <laughs> and Guido Andretti. Uh, one of Tommy's favorite the fucking Andrettis, baby. The great, the best wrestling mechanics in the business. Absolutely, the fucking Andrettis. The Andrettis. Don't fix your fucking car. Uh, Tommy, do you want to listen to this promo? Oh, uh, I sure do. I'm going to butcher this promo. Go ahead. All right, here we go. So many people have been asking me over the past few weeks what's going on with me and the Andretti. Oh, I'm Vito, Guido, you've been asking me too. Sometimes. The truth is, Guido, I love you. Hey. Vito. I love you, too. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And I just can't choose between the both of you. Hey, I know how we can settle this. You see, love bumping, there's a certain bounty on a certain Nick Dinsmore. You see, I'm going to go out and I'm going to collect that bounty. And I'm going to spend every little bit of that money on you there, hot stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, you're not. No, you're not. Yeah. I'm going to collect the bounty. And I'm not going to wait till Tuesday. I'm going to collect it today. Hey, I'm gonna take care of this. This is my bra. This is my bra here. I'll take my bra. Hey, she, yeah, she's going home with me. No, she's going home with me. She's going home with me. You're going home with me. Going home with me. Going... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's my bra. <laughs> she's my bra. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I get a kick out of the end, ready. I, I do, do. Too. They fucking suck. <laughs> they do. They fucking suck. But they're fucking hilarious. Uh. More of Vito than Guido, but yeah, fuck it, yeah. Uh, Vito gets into it, man. Oh, Guido, uh, oh, that's my ball. Yeah, my ball. We could, we could tell you're from Kentucky. <laughs> that fucking Absolutely. accent, that greasy fucking mullet hair. <laughs> but at least Vito gets into it, and, oh, it and, and it makes me laugh every time. Every fucking time. That's oh, my ball. It's my ball. <laughs> you go home with me, ain't you? Yeah, that, that was a fucking funny ass promo. Uh, fucking, fucking great. So apparently, boy. Treasure, damn it! You kicked her in the curb. Now she's in lower car with the Andretti. That's right. Boy, she's diminished. Hit the brick skate or whatever he yep. said. Remember? Hit the bricks and go to the Andretti uh, body shop. The Andretti's body shop. Um, but uh, Andretti's paint and spray. Apparently, Treasure can't pick between the Andrettis. So. Uh, but Tommy, we do get that. Well, apparently, they want to cash in on. Um, 
Kenny the King Bolin's uh, bounty. Yeah, yeah. Kenny the King Bolin has a bounty on the head of Mr. Wrestling. And Tommy, uh, for five thousand dollars, you can take him out. You can take him out. Uh, now, Tommy. Now, some people may not know who Nick Densmore is. Would you well, like he's to say Eugene? Him? He is Eugene in the WWE. And by the way, if you guys can tell, we got a little ring back here with uh, Rob Conway, uh, Nick Densmore, and Rico Constantino in the back there. That's right. But um, yeah. So uh, so so so. Uh, let's go ahead and go with uh, the next. Oh thing. yes. Uh, oh, is is this the Nick Densmore match? No, this oh. this is the footage from the Louisville Gardens of the stretcher match. Oh yeah, the stretcher match. Um, that was Bull Buchanan and Rob Conway As versus. They take on the Damager and his partner. He's the King of Wrestling Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler. A great a great man once said he's the King of Wrestling Man. And um and uh, Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler is here. You and, like you like you like pulling back yeah. windows. Hey, 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 this is a rare appearance for Lawler. You haven't been in Mobile in, in years. In years. Um I think it was like what? Four or five years? Yes, roughly. Uh, uh, I mean, you gotta realize. Um, well, I would say four or five, maybe a, maybe three or yeah, four. Yeah, it was maybe. a long time. Um, for sure. But um, they had a stretcher match, and uh, Tommy, uh, they showed some footage of this stretcher match. We seen Lawler pull out the fireball on yeah. Bull Buchanan, and he and he lights Bull Buchanan like a Roman candle. Yep. And, and then, Bull fucking slides out of the uh, ring. And then Tommy, he grabs Kitty Bullet who got in the ring and, and he goes punches him. Come here, Bull. <laughs> punches him. Yeah. Grabs his fucking BS briefcase, throws it on him. Yeah. Now Rob Conway's in there alone with damage and Lawler. So the damage is setting him up for a pile driver. Lawler goes, Yeah, let's spike this motherfucker. <laughs> and he picks up the legs, spikes him. And uh, the and Rob Conway couldn't get up at the count of ten. Mm -hmm. So your winners of that main event tag match, the Damager and Jerry the King Lala. Jerry the King Lala. Um. Now, Tommy, this leads into Bolin Services. Uh, comes out. Uh, Kenny Bolin. Uh, Mr. Black, Bull Buchanan, Bull Buchanan, the OVW champion, Rob Conway, are going to come out here and do a promo. And do a promo. Tom, let's go ahead and play that promo. Yeah, let's uh, play it. King B, the talk of the Louisville area right now is that the stretcher match didn't go quite the way you thought it was going to go with the Gardens. Well, I'll get to the stretcher match in a minute because what I'm here today is to talk about is uh, we had our weekly meeting at Bowling Services. And I'm here to divulge the results of that meeting today to all these ignorant, uneducated rednecks out here. First thing I need to bring up and talk about is that Jim Cornette find my man, Mr. Black. And you better shut up with the Porky chant tonight. I ain't gonna put up with it. Jimmy Cornette find Mr. Black $500 for the little act that he had on Nick Densmore running in there plastering him in the head. And, well, I got news for you. That's just going to come out of pity cash, so that ain't no big deal. So then what happened? Jimmy Cornette really thought he'd get into my back pocket, and he fined my man, Bull Buchanan, $1,000 because he hurt poor old little Johnny Spade on purpose. Well, I got news for you. That's just going to go on the BS American Express Platinum card, and that'll be paid off at the end of the month, so that ain't no big deal either. So then what happened was, is I had to go down to my attorney's office, and I had to file a personal injury lawsuit filing charges against Jerry Lawler for assault and battery. Shut up, you rednecks. Filing charges on him for assault and battery for what he did to me down there at the gardens. And then I had to file separate charges for arson. And you know what arson charges are, Dean, around here? Because of what they did to Bull. I said, I'm an upset man, and these people are starting to make me mad. But... Jerry Lawler knows what the penalty for arson is, and I don't see him winning that mayorship down there anytime soon. So then what that brings me to is Rico Constantino. He has asked for another title shot with the Iron Man Rob Conway. Another one. 
the nerve of that idiot. Well, Rico, let me tell you from my mouth to yours. If you want another shot with the Iron Man, Rob Conway, you're going to have to go through the Devastator. you got to go through Bull Buchanan Tuesday night at St. Therese. Hey, let's not worry about Rico. Let's get to the most important thing that happened at the board meeting. Kenny Bowling has allowed me to unleash the Iron Fist. Well, up until now, Dean, I've been taking it easy and all these goofs in Ohio Valley. But from now on, I am going to step it up a notch and I'm gonna start dropping the iron fist and ruling with an iron fist like I could have been doing the whole time. Now I have agreed, because I don't want to get Kenny sued for the permanent damage that the iron fist can deliver. I've agreed to win a glove to try to soften up the blow just a little bit. So that's to protect your opponents somewhat. They need all the help they can get from the Iron Fist, Dean. As for the damager, Tuesday night it's a pile driver match. Now this pile driver that you gave me at the gardens, oh, it would have never hurt the Iron Man if it hadn't been for the help of Lawler. As I remember just a few weeks ago, the Iron Man gave you one pile driver, and they carried your chrome dome right out of St. Therese. After Buchanan pile driver you the floor. Tuesday, I'm going to give you one pile driver, and they're going to carry you away for good. As for you, Rico, Bull can take care of the Iron Man's light work. Hey, Conway, you get this straight. Last week, that punk laid my head open with a trash can. Where were you at? At the Louisville Gardens, Jerry Lawler set me on fire. Where were you? And now, I got to take care of your punk work? tell you something, boy. If it wasn't for the money that Bowling's paying me, <laughs> I'd take that pretty little head, rip it off that body, and use you for what I used to use the boys down on the yard for. Wow. <laughs> the yard. <laughs> the yard, huh? So, so, <clears throat> so, Bull Buchanan so let me tell you something, Rob. Let boy. Me, let me tell you this, boy. Boy. I'll take a pretty head and sh and stick it off your shoulders and show you what, what the people in the yard do with it. <laughs> Down in the yard. In the <laughs> yard. We're not talking about Cena's hey yard either. That's right. We know what we know what be Bull Buchanan talking about. Uh yes. And people uh, don't know what he's talking about right now. Like what no. the hell? They're like, what the what the hell is talking about? What does about? he mean in the yard? What the fuck does that mean? Well, bowling, don't worry about it. All the money's going to be paid, no problem. All the fines. Yep. Um, Johnny Spade will come back. Johnny Spade will be back. Don't worry about it. Um, and then, uh, um, apparently at St. Teresa's Gym, it's going to be Bull Buchanan versus Rico Constantino. And in a power driver match, it'll be the Iron Man Rob Conway versus the Damager. In a pod driver match. That's what we got from the from the Bullet Services promo. Kenny Bowen's fantastic. Yeah, Kenny Bowen's one of the most underrated managers. Um, and uh, not only that, but uh, uh, oh, I we also forgot to mention that if uh, if if Rico beats Bull Buchanan, he, he actually, gets an OVW title shot against Rob Conway. So there you guys go on that, Tommy. Next we have. For the OVW Light Heavyweight Championship. Yes, we have the OVW Light Heavyweight title on the line as the reigning and defending OVW Light Heavyweight Champion is, is Sexy Sean Casey with with the uh, sexettes, as he likes to call them. Well, this one was one, and it was Mercedes. Yeah, oh, one sexette. Yeah, he yeah. could only afford one. We know about them strip club dance. <laughs> dance. Don't we, Sean? <laughs> we'll get that KC soon. Sunshine. KC Sunshine. 
as he takes on Tommy. As he takes on in his OVW debut. Well, he did debut at the Guards, but this is his yeah. OVW television yeah, his debut. His OVW TV debut. Scotty Saber. Now, some people may know who Scotty Saber is. Some people may not. Now, he did have a couple of shots on WCW television. Mm -hmm. um, he was called Scotty O. Yeah, Scotty O. And uh, uh, very. He, he uh, did do some dark match. He did do some matches on metal. Yeah. And and jacked for the WWF also. Yeah, uh, uh, big. Uh, I wouldn't say big, but. Tall, yeah, uh, skinny, uh, blonde haired guy. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I always thought he was kind of boring. Personally. Scotty Saber was kind of bland. Yeah, he was a very bland wrestler. Uh, I will say this though, good wrestler. Yeah, just bland. But when it comes to personality, bland. Yeah. Um, but Tommy, uh, did you see uh, uh, Saber Saber uh, uh, bitten down for a leapfrog and? <laughs> Sean Casey couldn't get up there. Yeah, Sean Casey's leg got caught on his yes, neck. Yes, he did. Way hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, Sean Casey does the slingshot suplex. Very nice slingshot suplex by sexy Sean Casey. And he attempts to do the mind blower. The mind blower. And Scotty Saber, with a great counter here, he switches it into the flatliner. The flatliner. One, two, three. And in his OVW TV debut is the new OVW Light Heavyweight Champion is Scotty Saber. Scotty Saber. Um, and it was a pretty decent TV match, except for that botch. It, 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 except for the botch at the beginning, it was a pretty decent uh, OVW uh, Light Heavyweight Championship match. And uh, hey, his first shot into uh, on television, he wins the OVW Light Heavyweight Championship from Sexy Sean Casey. Tommy. Then we go to some footage from the Louisville Gardens of Nick Dinsmore versus Buddy Landale. The Nature Boy. And uh, uh, pretty much what happened there uh, where he, he got he got Landale into the German suplex. Yes. One, two, three. Now, Tommy, we see Mr. Black get, get into the ring. So him and Landale double team Nick Dinsmore. Buddy Landale's holding Dinsmore down. Mr. Black hits the big splash from the top rope on the in, on the on the chest of uh, Nick Dinsmore, so Nick Dinsmore is hurt. And, and and that was the fine that Cornette gave yeah. uh, Kitty Bowen, yes. where where uh, on Mr. Black the five hundred dollars. Um. Then Tommy, we get a match of oh, uh, your oh, match. Oh, my match. Your match. Is, is the match I've been waiting for. Yes. From Mexico City, Mexico. Low rider. Low rider. And his opponent, Mr. Wrestling, Nick Dismore. Um, very botchy. Very botchy. <laughs> I'm going to say this right here right yeah, now. Yeah, very botchy. Not Nick Dismore's No, not, not Nick Dismore from Mexico City, Mexico. Rasputin, aka Lowrider. Lowrider. Uh, we get some misses on that. Uh, he hits it with a Northern Light suplex for a one-two. Um, then he goes fuck it German suplex. Yes. Uh, yeah. one, two, and I guess three. Three, I guess. A little uh, botch there. Yeah, there was. And I think it's because. And we know what happened. Yes. The Andretti's missed their cue. Yes, the Andretti's. And they cue. come in too late. Yeah. So here they come in. They're both trying to fucking go to punch Nick Dinsmore. The other one keeps holding, uh, keeps grabbing the fist. They know you ain't doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And then, it's my brawl. And then, and then, <laughs> this is my five. <laughs> yeah, this is my five. And then. And then Nick Dinsmore and from Mexico City, Mexico, Lowrider. Both do a drop kick on, on both the Andretti's, yeah. and they get knocked out of the ring. Yeah. And uh, it was cool to see Lowrider and Nick Dinsmore, uh, you from know. Mexico uh, City, Mexico, <laughs> Lowrider. That's one of your favorites of all time. Hell yeah. Uh, Lowrider. Uh, pretty much uh, uh, the Andretti's didn't do anything. They couldn't cash in on that five grand. And uh, was taken out by uh, Low Rider and Nick Dins from Mexico City, Mexico. <laughs> Low Rider. Then Tommy, we go back to the desk of, uh, and, and this is more of a serious issue here. 
uh, we go back to the desk of uh, of Dean and Jim Cornette, and uh, uh, they want to talk about real quick, uh, you know, just like 30 seconds here of uh, uh, the death of uh, Mark Curtis, uh, Brian Hildebrand. Yes. Um, which most people knew that he had uh, that he had cancer. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was stomach cancer. Yeah. And uh, he ended up uh, losing his life uh, here in '99, and uh, which was good because Cornette, uh, you guys realize uh, he was a, he was a, he was a uh, he was a wrestler and a manager, not yeah. a manager, a referee. Yeah. In Smoky Mountain Wrestling for Jim Cornette as well, where he got his uh, break, where where where, where uh, Brian Hildebrand got his break and. Uh, it was nice that Cornette had to had to, and then, and then he got the job in WCW. And he got the job in WCW and did a damn good job as an official. He was there. One, he was a good referee. Good referee, um, but they just want to acknowledge his his, his death and uh, uh, best wishes to his family. Yeah. Um. Then Tommy, we get to the main event of the OVW television show. It is the Damager versus. Flash. Yes. Now, Tommy. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. You can see this all on social media on my Instagram. Tommy put this on his social media. All well. right. You know, damage is already in the ring. You hear Flash's music playing, which is a uh, heavy by Collective Soul. I yes. love that song. Yes. I love and that song. We're waiting on Flash. As we see Grandma Gaines <laughs> with the American flag jacket walk by. Like, Wait a minute, is that Flash's grandmother? She's a stunt She's granny. She's a stunt granny. You see her trying to hurry up and wobble to her seat. Literally, you're hearing the Flash song, right? <laughs> and you see her. And then you see right in front. <laughs> in front. You see an <laughs> old lady going. An old lady in an American flag jacket just walk by. How's as you're hearing, very slow. Very slow as you're hearing a heavy <laughs> So, and then out of nowhere, you see Flash come by and swoop into the ring. It was fucking hilarious. It was great. It was funny. It was fucking hilarious. Um, I will say this. Uh, they did not get a lot of time. Because uh, time was going short. Time was going short. Uh, Flash attempts to, uh, attempts to leave. But Tommy, on the outside, we got Triller Park Trash, Rico Constantino, and Nick Dismore go, uh-uh, motherfucker. And throws him back in. And, throws and him then back we in. had on the other side the Andretti's, Jason Lee, and uh, I think it was Rip Rogers. And I think it was Rip Rogers, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, they end up... Uh, Rowan, I, they ended up beating the shit out of the damager. Yes. And that pissed them off, so they, we all got a big smile. We get a what? Big smile. A big smile. The Bret Hart special. The Bret Hart special. And everybody's fighting to everybody, yeah. which leads into, well, we're going to have the Lumberjack match yes. uh, with uh, with Flash and Trash at, at, at uh, the uh, at the St. Teresa's Gym. So, overall, I really like this episode of OVW. Yeah, this this was a very good episode. I uh, say it was. Uh, what was your uh, least favorite and uh, favorite match, Tommy? Least favorite? Mm -hmm. Probably the Eagle and Rob Conway. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm actually going to go with... Uh, so maybe Lo Lowrider and Dinsmore. I'm, go I'm, going, with Low I'm going with Lowrider and Dinsmore. Now let me change you. That's Lowrider and Dinsmore. Lowrider and Dinsmore. Because they had 50 million botches. Eagle and Rob Conway was what it was. Yeah. Uh, best but but uh, you want me to tell you my favorite promo? My bra. <laughs> my bra. She's my bra. The Andretti's <laughs> stole the show on promos. That and bowling. That, that and bowling. bowling. Uh, I put bowling number one, and the Andretti's get number two. Uh, best match, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna give it to Sean Casey. Yeah, and Scotty me too. Saber. I'm gonna give it to Scotty Saber and Sean Casey. Uh, for sure. I uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, that is the episode of September 18th of 1999 for OVW Television Wrestling Podcast, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, we're doing it all the time. Give it a guys. thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel as well as uh, this is also going to be an audio form yeah. on Spotify. Now, it's going to be on the same thing as Wrestling Rampage. It will just be listed as yeah. the OVW television show. But um, definitely go give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. 
Uh, like us on Facebook, facebook.com, so Russell Graham page two. You can also follow us on Twitter, X at Russell Graham page. You can also follow me and Tommy on Instagram. That's actually where we'll see some clips from OVW as well. Some clips, not all the time, but some clips. Yeah. And we'll be hyping it up on the Instagram as well. So, guys, hit that subscribe button.